previously on Hollywood. I don't think you should feel bad about what happened. All right. I mean, I know it's not easy dealing with everything that's going on in your head right now. And I should know. I mean, I made a complete mess of my life. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You, you think I'm like you two? But don't play games. I'm not. I haven't been round to your house without Sarah in, well, in ages. We've been to bed together. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the matter with you? Are you sick? Fine. If that's the way you want it. Hey, hey. I never hear any rumours. It's your way against mine. So keep your mouth shut. A few of us are having a kickabout down the park later if you fancy it. I'm going to Sarah's. Oh, it'd be good to see you. You haven't been down there in ages. Well, blame my girlfriend. She keeps me busy. Give it up, Craig. Drop the act. Act? There is no act. As long as you stay out my way. What was all that about? Hello. Hello. Were you two arguing? No. Yeah, look. Maybe it doesn't matter. Remember that holiday we had to cancel? Yeah, please don't remind me why we had to cancel. No, no, listen. I'm thinking we'll get it back on track. I'm thinking Xanti. Oh, I'm thinking I like what you're thinking. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Let's go look at websites. Okay. Shouldn't you be round here thanking me? Why? It's Postman not been yet. Ripple magazine. Congratulations. Ripple Magazine is delighted to inform you that you are Hometown Hottie of the Year. You win a modelling contract and your boyfriend, Reese wins a year's supply of beer. What? You should do it, though. Chance of a lifetime. I think so. Yeah, you know, maybe he's right. Could be a big break. I'm talking life-changing big. Yeah, well, I like my life as it is. Uh, come on, Sarah, you look amazing. You look gorgeous in those photos of that perv talk on his phone. Like a supermodel if a real photographer was doing it. Yeah, and what about Craig? Yeah, and what about him? Well, you know what he's like. He should be chuffed to have a stunner like you on his arm. Most blokes would be. Well, he's not most blokes, is he? Well, at least talk to him, yeah? Thank you. Not for. Right, let's promise whatever happens not to fall out over this. Yeah. Come here. I don't really see where I fit into all this. Yeah, I'm just after your opinion. I mean, do you think he'd go mad? Oh, he'd go mad, wouldn't he? But ask him, he'll find out. Yeah, I know, but has he ever said anything about the photos, you know, what he thought, or...? You guys weren't together, were you, when it all came out? So, I mean, it's a different story now, but... Oh, I should just forget it. No. Um, <sighs> Hannah's right, OK? I mean, you don't want to spend the rest of your life thinking, what if I'd gone for it, do you? Yeah, well, that's what's getting me. Um, no offence, all right, but Craig might be a distant memory by then, so why worry about getting his back up a bit now? Yeah, well, I just want to go and do the photos and see what happens. If I don't like him, I can say forget it. Nothing to lose. Oh, he knows. Right, you've got to come to the dog with me. What, me? Please, you're the only one he listens to. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, please, John Paul. And your dad's gonna go mad. Yeah, seriously, this place being closed for ten minutes is the last thing my dad's got to worry about. Just dumps me on the spot. So you're definitely going through with it then? Yeah, I, d I don't know, maybe. What do you think? What do you mean? 
Right, well, if your bloke asked you if you minded him being plastered all over the front of a magazine and touch your pants. Oh, Sarah, Sarah, sit down, sit down. All right, it's, it's better out in the open, isn't it? Mate, can you do us a favour? Well, your brother's left me with his sprog and it's starting to smell a bit funky, you know? Just get lost! What? Go! <laughs> All right. Go, yeah. go! What's going on? Huh? What's he said? Craig, I've got something I need to discuss with you. Whatever it is he has said, do not listen to him, I swear to you. Ripple magazine have picked Sarah as their hottie of the year. They wanted to have some photos done, but... She's bricking it because she thinks you're going to go mad. Thanks, that'll have taken me ten minutes. Well, um, what do you think then? <laughs> it's, it's great news. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Well, I mean, they're just photos and if I don't like them, if they're seedy, then I'll just say forget it. No, baby, this is amazing. I thought you were going to go mad. No. Thank you so much. Like another shot of this one. I know it's getting late, but you don't mind, do you? No, fine. At least you don't have to change. C Craig? Anna. Sarah's phone isn't on. She's busy. Still. How's it going? Great. Oh, I can hear her. What's she doing? She's just in a session with this male model. Dead hunky guy, you know. He's even worked in New York and everything. I don't want to be tipped, do you know? I was even bringing her some wine. <laughs> Listen, Craig. Do you think I'm fat? Oh, I can hear her again. What was she doing now? This art director. I asked her, does she think I could be a model? She said I wasn't tall enough. And she said I had chubby cheeks. What? Well, I'm wondering, do you think that means I've got a fat face? Put Sarah on. Craig, you haven't answered my question. I'm asking you, do you think I'm fat? What do you think? Put Sarah on. And I've told you she's busy. Hannah! Craig, we're busy. Craig! Where are you going? I'm going to go play the fruit machine. It might be a bit more entertaining than you. Is something stressing you out? I'm fine, honestly. You could have fooled me. You shouldn't have got involved. And you shouldn't let them wind you up. Come off it, you're all over the place. Last night you were telling her to go for it, and now this. I don't know what she's up to. Do you even care? Look, do you feel the same about her as you do about me? How many times do I have to tell you? You thought she'd found out, didn't you? You thought I'd told her. <laughs> the look of relief on your face when you realised she didn't know. No wonder you didn't get all moody about the trip to Manchester. Honest with yourself. What does she mean to you, eh? I mean, what do I mean to you? Well? So you're right for drinks? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, Tom. It's the night off. What are you doing? Right, you've got five minutes, you pillow. It's between you and me